Today, Mac OS 12 Monterey is here and while it's missing some of the big features we waited for, it's still one of the best Mac upgrades in years. Brighter, with new controls seen in iOS and iPadOS, the Mac's overall look changed dramatically last year. And so this Mac OS 12 review will explain how Apple's adding lots of smarts to go with that new coat of paint. Primarily, those upgrades come in the nifty live text, while the Notes app is more capable than ever. But while FaceTime's updates are neat, they are not all here. That said, we're still waiting for Apple to add the cool-looking universal control feature to Mac OS. It's currently available in beta form, and we expect the full rollout to come shortly. Mac OS 12 Review Release Dates Mac OS 12 Monterey shipped on October 25, 2021. A lot has happened since the public beta came out July 1, and through subsequent updates during the summer. Safari got slightly fixed back to where it should be. The final version arrived alongside the MacBook Pro 2021, 14-inch and MacBook Pro 2021, 16-inch. In terms of stability, during my time running the Mac OS 12 public beta on a spare MacBook Air 2020 with Moan chip over the last month, I kept forgetting that it's a beta. New features found on iOS 15 and iPad OS 15. Apple's rolling out a lot of new features across multiple operating system updates due out this fall. So Mac OS 12 Monterey gets to be just like iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 in a few ways. My favorite, without a doubt, is live text, in photos and preview. Among other apps, you can now select text from images, just as if you were using a document or PDF. This is Apple's AI magic at work, and it just works. For example, I could highlight text on a shirt I own that I took a photo of, or the nutrition label from a bottle. To see your cursor become a text select tool when you move it over text in an image is a sight to see. Mac OS 12 Review FaceTime Upgrades Galore There are two pieces of big news around FaceTime video calls in Mac OS 12 Monterey and Apple's other platforms. Starting with the fact that it's coming to Android and Windows, except it's not getting an app, just a web view. While I eventually got things to work right with FaceTime calls between a MacBook Air Moan and both Windows and Android, there were some hiccups along the way. One colleague's video feed got very choppy, though he blamed it on his bad internet. Since this is a beta, and I'm not ruling anything out, I decided to call up Jackie, a friend with a more stable connection. iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 debuted last month without the share play feature in place. Apple was taking more time to iron out some of the issues, and it's appeared in betas for the phone and tablet software. We tried to find it in the latest beta releases in the middle of October 2021, but it was not there. Mac OS 12 Review Safari's going through changes Safari has changed a lot since its last major update, and after users complained, Apple took that that debate into consideration. So, there are two new ways of using Safari. The standard view keeps things as they were, while the compact view brings your tabs up to alongside the URL field. In compact view, the back and forward buttons will disappear if there's no page to go back or forward to. This is logical as you don't have as much horizontal space there if your tabs are taking up that space. I'm sticking with standard. The other most immediately noticeable difference is found in the overall interface of Safari, which adjusts to take on the color of the web page you're viewing. For CNN, it goes all black, which is neat. But for Tom's guide and tweet deck, it takes on a very bright blue that's a bit much. Some may find this change to be an upgrade, like a curved ultra-wide monitor meant to immerse you in your content. I immediately look for a way to turn it off, settings and GT, advanced and GT, uncheck show color in tab bar. Safari's also added tab groups, a really cool idea I didn't get at first. A tab group sounds like a bookmark folder, but it's instead a way to not worry about closing your windows. I could have used this back when I was planning my summer trip to Las Vegas. Mac OS 12 Review Universal Control Not Here Yet I really want to tell you about Universal Control, a new feature that lets you control up to three iPads and Macs with the same keyboard and mouse. Sadly, that feature is not available yet, and it doesn't appear to be coming in time for the i25 release. I will update this story once I can start testing it, but I'll admit I already have one personal frustration with it. I want this feature to be able to work even if the devices in question are not on the same Apple ID. The one big asterisk is my work computer can't to my personal Apple ID on it. Mac OS 12 Review Shortcuts is on the Mac The automation crowd is plenty happy that Mac OS is getting the shortcuts application that iOS and iPadOS have had for years. I'm not a part of that crowd, and I don't see myself joining them even with this app. The built-in gallery of shortcuts has some ideas that may seem novel to some but it doesn't quite speak to me. Then again, I'm the type to not believe in smart home tech, so I wonder if it's not for me at all. Mac OS 12 Review Bottom line, as this Mac OS 12 Monterey review has shown, this update has some cool stuff to talk about. Live text rules, 
but it's also lacking two big features that were announced for it. That said, Monterey is here. Even if Universal Control and Share Play aren't, I expect I'll get the same Jedi upgrade. Questions from friends and family that I get every year. And this year I have a big reason to tell them they should. People have plenty of reasons to wait, but this time there's something cool that should make people happy to update. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.